Yo what's up guys welcome to coding bot in this video I'm going to show you how to download and how to install flutter for your windows pc before going to the video make sure to subscribe down below and turn on the bell icon to get more updates in the future first of all you need to go to the um, google search engine or else uh, whatever the search engine you need and just type flutter download you can go to directly to this flutter.dev page I will put the link in the description after going to that link um, you can direct to this page Inside uh, this page, you can see the 2.5 is the, the latest release and the uh, or the uh, stable version for now. You can click on this um, get started button. In the, uh, above that uh, button, you can uh, read it by made by Google. The Flutter is made by Google, and just click on this get started button. After clicking that get started button, you can go to this page. Inside this page, you can select the operating system of you, and uh, it may be a Mac OS, Linux, or Windows. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install for Windows just click on this windows logo or the windows selection and the next page you can read so many things now i'm in the flutter.dev official page inside that so many things you can read right um in the top of the page there is some uh, system requirements um, you can read uh, these things and uh, check whether your system is already compatible with these requirements and down of that um, article you can select the download link flutter windows 2.5.1 stable version is this one for now sometimes it may be updating according to the time you can click on this uh, flutter windows 2.5.1 button you can download the flutter version it is um, it is sizing for more than 700 mbs 700 megabytes you can download it for your download directory after downloading that you have to go to your download directory it is um, inside this downloads folder in my computer now you can select this zip file this is the downloaded zip, zip file and you can select extract all after selecting extract all you have to give the uh, path for extracting this zip file i'm going to browse it browse the location and inside c directory you have to create a new folder named src i'm going to create a new folder like src and just go to this src folder and select folder now the location is ready you can extract your zip file to this c colon slash src directory to the c drive yo now it's all right you can see the uh, flutter zip file has already extracted to this src folder now you have to go to your command prompt go to a search bar and type like cmd and inside that cmd you can type like flutter after typing flutter you can just press enter you can see this error message flutter is not recognized as internal or external command this is caused uh, because we have not set uh, yet this uh, environment variable of flutter bin folder now you have to go to your src folder i will show you from the beginning go to the c drive and uh, go to this src folder which where we have um, extracted our flutter files and go to flutter folder inside that there is a bin folder just copy this path just uh, press ctrl s ctrl c and uh, copy this path ctrl c right after copying that one you have to go again to this um, search area and just type like env edit the system environment variables and you can open the system properties window like this after opening that one you have to go to this environment variables and inside that there is a path in the top of uh, the top box there's a path and just type like uh, just press in here the edit and inside that you can click on this new button and just paste the url which we have copied before right this is the bin folder directory we already uh, paste that inside uh, the new area and just press ok after pressing ok I will show you something just type again like flutter this is showing the error message again we have to ok uh, press ok again from here and uh, just press ok from here and just type like flutter it is showing the same error message let's let's um, restart our command prompt cmd and uh, now type like flutter 
you will can see a bigger message which is showing our flutter installation or the flutter adding is success this is the um, commands and this, this is the message which is um, showing us which is ensuring us to know that uh, the flutter installation is finalized at the end of the video i will show you some interesting and important things to you guys just type like again uh, the flutter and run flutter command you can see this biggest message and this is ensuring the flutter installation is success now run flutter doctor after running flutter doctor it is checking automatically your system is ready for flutter development it is checking whether uh, which where you have installed your android studio and if you have installed VS Code and connected devices is working finely and Chrome browser is um, ready for the uh, web development, developed for the web and under tool chains and Flutter stuffs are checking by running this Flutter Doctor command. You can run Flutter Doctor command. If you are a beginner, if you are running Flutter Doctor command for the first time, you can see there is error message in under tool chains and um, all these stuff sometimes. Make sure you have installed Android Studio and VS Code and uh, Chrome browser it is uh, you can done it easily right uh, without that you can you will can see error messages in android tool chains and connected devices let's see how to solve these problems just go to android studio i am already running a project it is not a matter you can uh, go to this tools and avd manager go to that avd manager and create a virtual device right you can see whatever the device you need you can select a device uh, whatever the device you need right and um, you can select a device and I will show you this device and go to the next next inside there you can see the Android version you can select the Android version uh, whatever you need it may be a Q, R, Pi, Oreo, or the Nougat you can see a proper operating system for your virtual device after clicking next you can download the uh, virtual device to your local PC and you can see after completely uh, downloading your virtual device you can see your virtual device is listed in here now you can run your virtual device by clicking this one before going to that option i will show you some interesting thing just go to your command prompt or you open up your vs code um, type like code dot code space dot i can open up my uh, vs code inside that vs code i'm going to create a new project new window and um, let me close this guys after opening your vs code you can go to your view and go to command palette before going to that command palette you have to install some extensions for your um, vs code and go to extensions and just type like flutter i have already installed you can see there is uh, not an install option because i have already installed this installed this flutter uh, extensions for my vs code you can install flutter the dart is automatically installing with the flutter extension after installing all these stuffs you can go to this um, view and just go to command palette and just type like flutter flutter new application or project is the option we need and after selecting that one just press enter after pressing enter it is um, prompting us to select a uh, folder to create our uh, flutter project i am selecting desktop and select up this folder and you can give a name for the flutter project i am going to give a uh, food app food app is my the flutter project name and just press enter it is taking some time to install and it is taking some time to configuring all these stops for your flutter project you can see flutter create is running yo it's fine guys now we are good to go you can see the exit code is zero and all the um, flutter project and the flutter folder structure is automatically created and now we can go to our terminal just go to the terminal inside of our vs code and you can see the main uh, dot file is already opened in this um, file view and just go to the terminal and just type in here flutter run before running this one i am going to change some things okay i will uh, change uh, something and show you in later and just type like flutter run you can see before running flutter you can see here is uh, what is the connected device in here it is showing chrome web after running flutter run you can see we can see our flutter project or our flutter application is running in our chrome project 
for that I'm going to go over go to my um, virtual device settings and just start my virtual device just press on this start button you can see our emulator is already running finely I'm going to exit in here it's not a matter it's a project which I am working with and just close all these stuffs we don't need any more these things just close Android Studio as well we don't need anything for Flutter project all we are fine now we can run our flutter run command you can see in here you can see pixel 4 this is my emulator or my this is uh, my virtual device all right you can see our connected device is showing in here now we can run our flutter run command let's see it is running or not just press enter and you can see running gradle task is building and it is taking some time as well let me skip from here Yo guys, now it's all fine. You can see our emulator has um, run. You can see there is no error messages. Uh, our Flutter application or our Flutter project name food app is already run in our emulator. Okay, now I have changed some stuffs in our code. Let me restart our application. Give a simple R. You can see the all these commands are in here. Simple R for hot reload and capital R for hot restart. Let Let's go to our application. You can see the changes are detected from our emulator. Food app has changed and our navigation, uh, this color has changed. Now it's all fine. I think you got something from this video, how to install Flutter and how to add it for our environment variables and how to use our uh, Flutter environment with an emulator. Make sure to subscribe guys and turn on the bell icon and make sure to share this video from your batchmates or to your classmates thank you guys let's meet again